Hello guys, welcome back to the Beastie Room. Now, um, we've got another pairing video for you today. And this is as, this is of an exquisite baboon spider. Now, it's been quite strange actually, I've surprised myself. Over the years, I've never been particularly interested in the baboon species of spiders. They're, um, they are very, very cool. And then a few years ago, we ended up with a big influx of so many different types of baboon, and they were all quite similar. And I purposely stayed away from them. I just stayed away. But the last year or two, we've, we've come across a few that have been coming in, and they've really sort of sparked my interest. And um, this one in particular is very, very nice. And this is the Ceratogovus meridionalis, and it is absolutely beautiful. Very, very cool spider. Now we all love our OBTs and things like that, but look at the colouring on this. This has got like, um, I mean they are known as the, Z the Zimbabwe grey baboon. And look at that, it's got that real grey, steely grey on the legs, the brown on the abdomen. Absolutely beautiful. Now it's been an interesting thing that we've actually had this girl on reasonably deep substrate. And she didn't bother digging away. She never, she never really tried to hide at all. She's always been on the surface. And since then, we've then moved her into this nine liter bra plus, um, really useful rub. And she has literally just webbed up the hole of the bottom. So we thought it was about time. She's recently molted out, not too long ago. Um, and we thought, right. It's now time to find a male and uh, see what we can do. So we managed to pick up a male and this is what happened. Have a look at this. All right, today we're gonna attempt to pair our Ceratogyrus meridionalis, commonly known as the Zimbabwe gray baboon. Now this truly is a marvellous looking spider. They come from Malawi in Mozambique and they're not one that we see a huge amount of. They do crop up from time to time but we don't see them an awful lot. Now here's our male, he's on the left, female on the right and he had been sat on the side of that there for about 20 minutes before he finally decided to come down and make a move. Now, as you can see there, he's not giving a huge amount of indication. You can see the tibial hooks on them front legs. Very, very long front legs. Now, we're getting a little bit of stuff from the, uh, the pedipalps. Almost like a little bit of scratching on the web but not a lot of anything else. And this is always a worry with these baboons because them females, they do like to be sweet-talked a little bit. And they can be quite harsh on the males. And you can see our male there, he's made contact straight away. She's looking very, very good. Look at the white banding on the legs, absolutely gorgeous. And he is straight in there. No messing around. Oh, here we go. Insemination straight away. How about that? Look at that. No messing around whatsoever. Very, very gentle. Hard to believe these guys are old world baboons. And they are so subtle. Look at that. He's finished. He's done. He's backed away. Notice how he holds his pedipalps up out of the way. And there she goes. She's just sitting there relaxed again. You see that beautiful grey colour. That's where they get their name. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful spiders, these. And there they are. Look at that. They're going to sit there now. This is often a time where we have to be a little bit careful. Notice our female. Look, she's having a little scratch of her abdomen there. That is always a good sign of a nice, decent, clean insemination. 
trying to get a little photograph there. Now we left them for beef like this for quite some time. They, they must have sat here for 15 minutes or more just like this. And then we decided it was time to actually move our male out. So we're going to come in now and we're going to gently try and coax him out. Very important that we don't get him to spook. You notice how we just came down very, very gently. Once he lifts them legs up, we can actually move him nice and steady. Look at that. He's going to slowly back up. He's got to the end of the enclosure. He's now going up the side and we gently move him over. Let him make his own way into his box. He's back in there. Notice our female hasn't moved at all. Putting the lid on the male now. So that's him safe and sound. He will go in again and have another try. Let's have a close look at our female. Be wonderful to actually breed these. Such beautiful, beautiful spiders. Very underrated. Well, that was pretty cool, wasn't it? You would have seen there, that is possibly one of the fastest pairing videos that we've actually undertaken on film. Um, and these baboons, oh, quite often, they just don't hang about. I mean, that male, he literally, he done a little bit of tapping, a little bit, and that just it, he was in there. And uh, she didn't get too much in the way of choice. Um, he was sort of straight on. But to be fair, you see, she gave up straight away. She was literally... Like, yep, come and take me. I'm ready. And that was it. We were, we were away. Very, very quick response. Now, um, we see that sometimes with our OBTs as well. Although the OBT females seem to be a little bit more tricky, shall we say. They can, yeah, they need a little bit more wooing, don't they? Yes. Um, but this girl, yeah, she was straight in. Now, since we've done this video, we have, in fact, paired her a second time. So, and that went equally as well, just the, exactly the same. It was like a mirror image. So we're hoping now that she will um, produce a sack and see what happens. She's absolutely fantastic. What we're going to do is we're going to, we've got a roach here for her. So we're going to, we're going to feed her. She's had quite a strong appetite since the pairings. And you can see there from her abdomen, she's, she's of a lovely size. We've got, we've got a nice red runner here, and this is what we tend to feed these, these sort of size spiders. We tend to feed them the red runners. We give them the female red runners because they're quite, they've got a little bit of meat about them. If I can get it in without it blocking off. Oh, look at that. As you can see there, that was quite a lazy takedown. She didn't particularly go bananas for it but look at the coloring you can see the coloring in her now really exquisite she is absolutely gorgeous i know i say this about a lot of the spiders but whoa she is beautiful now you can see the blackness on the carapace really nice those white, sort of creamy white bands on the legs. There's nothing to not like about this spider. And I'm really looking forward to hopefully getting a sack from her. This is the only female we have of these. So um, it's going to be an interesting thing. And all being well, our male is still going strong. He's actually survived a good long time. He's, he's as fit as he is now as he was the day he, he matured. And he's feeding as well. So. Again, it sort of shows that quite often with the males, if they're kept in optimum conditions, they do seem to carry on feeding and they're quite happy to, to do that. And that obviously extends their lifespan. Now you can see there for a baboon spider, she is incredibly calm. Here we go. She's starting to lay down some silk now. Isn't she just absolutely beautiful? Colouring there is fantastic. See, she's going to sit and devour her dinner. That's absolutely marvellous. So yes, so now it's just going to be a case of um, 
we will literally treat her exactly the same as we do our OBTs, and um, and we'll see what goes on from there. And fingers crossed, she will produce a sack. You'd have remembered um, last year we we bred our Marshalli. Um, that was a very similar thing. Um, we had a little bit of trouble getting her to drop actually, and um, we ended up pairing her at two different intervals. We we had one where she went on and on and on, and then she molted out, and then we had another one where she just took ages to drop so it's going to be an interesting thing to try and find the, the trigger point in that actual dropping um, hopefully this one will be a little easier what a fabulous spider right well i hope you enjoyed that uh, pairing video we've got many more to come we've got a lot of spiders that are ready to pair at the moment and um, it's it's a long process breeding spiders can take an awful long time and sometimes we're lucky and we get a spider like this and it's all over and done with in a matter of minutes, and we can move on to the next one. Other times, we can spend all day just mucking around with one pair of spiders. And um, obviously, nothing else happens in the meantime, because as you know, the minute you look away and do something, it all goes peak tong and we've lost the whole thing. So we have to be on the ball. Got to keep on the ball with them. But yeah, many, many more to come. Right, don't forget, be calm, be gentle, and love your spider, and I will see you soon, guys.